Hello friends, now we will see indirect method of FM generation which is very popularly known as Armstrong method. We are starting from the basic block of this that is crystal oscillator which will generate the carrier frequency that is coupled with the buffer which will improve the driving capability of that and also give some amplification then arrangement is made in such a way that output of the buffer it is coupled to 90 degree phase shifter and one output it is directly given to the combining network now here combination of the balance modulator and the audio equalizer the modulating signal now here the arrangement is such a way that the output of 90 degree phase shifter is given to the balance modulator whereas the second input is from the audio equalizer and which is in term it is coupled through the modulating signal now group of multipliers at the output of the combining network we can use so here basically output of the combining network will get the pm view and that will be converted into fm view only when we apply the audio equalizer to that so group of multiplier will multiply the frequency and it couples to the mixer and crystal oscillator for frequency up conversion again it will be further multiplied with the help of group of multipliers and finally it will couple to the class c power amplifier where the high power boost it is provided by the class c power amplifier and the frequency modulated view can be transmitted with the help of transmitting antenna now more detailing of that process we will try to learn it from the phasor diagram now here the phasor diagrams first we will try to compare it with one assumption that is amplitude modulated view here unmodulated carrier it is in the phase with the resultant of the sideband in the a case of am so upper sideband and lower sideband are generated so we are skipping that amplitude modulation concept now here we'll add the another concept that we are keeping the am view in phase quadrature with the resultant of the sidebands so at the output of the uh, combining network we are placing that but here what happened non linearity comes across this hence we are also skipping this one that is third case in the third case what we did that we remove the carrier with the help of the balance modulator and here the situation situation is that the unmodulated carrier it is always in phase quadrature with the resultant of the sideband now what happens the resultant of the sideband output of combining network now here any change into the value of the sideband any any change into the amplitude of the sideband what happen the change into the phi takes place and this is the suitable one where we can say that the change of the angle takes place and thus it verifies the operation of the frequency modulation that means as per the modulating signal modulating signal here it means that it comprising of the side bands only okay so variation into the amplitude of that if some system changes the phasor angle then definitely we can say that frequency modulation takes place this is all about the indirect method of frequency generation that is armstrong method Thank you for watching.